I'm headed to the Chicopee Ski Hill for the Bronco Stampede. It might be the biggest gathering of Broncos in all of Canada ever. At least it's the biggest one in the Kitchener area. It's a perfect day, so let's see what we can find at the Stampede. Yeehaw! Chicopee Ski Hill is one of those small little local ski hills with like four lifts. And Bronco Stampede is just a gathering of Broncos that's sponsored by a company called Auto IQ and a bunch of local dealerships. There's some food trucks and swag. I'm just going to walk around and see if there's any interesting builds to show you. Oh, this is interesting. Milwaukee Hackout. I wonder what this is. I wonder if it has tools in it. Looks cool. This is that limited edition Bronco Everglades. It has the cool wheels. The kind of squared out arches and that, and that capable built-in winch bumper and the snorkel. Very cool. There's a nice Raptor. Looks pretty stock except for the, the wheel rings. Nice matching color. The Squatchy with the, with the Casey Highlights Gravity Pro 6 LED light bar. Almost got that for myself as well. And the Ford Performance Tube Doors. Looks like he has a rear tire carrier support. And of course the Sasquatch air freshener. I need one of those. Man, 37s look beefy on a two-door. I think that might have to be my next big upgrade. Now if a color ever shouted out, look at me, this is it. It's got some fleck in the paint. Pretty eye-catching. Another Raptor. Looks pretty stock. The gills, all the louvers, looks great. These guys spend all their money on the truck and they have no, no money left for mods. Got all the lights on this one. Bloody dice. I was thinking about doing these limb risers on mine as well. A nice chunky DV8 bumper. This was on my short list before I went with the Fab Fours. The original Bronco. Beautiful. Fully restored. Immaculate. Look at that interior. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice color. Love the seats. Seat inserts. Looks like it has a V8. I wonder if this is a Coyote engine. If you know, leave a comment below. I'm curious. Beautiful. It's crazy how valuable these things are getting now. Decked out with the Yeti fridge. Here's some second gen Broncos built up. These start going up in price as well. Cool retro color scheme. Ranger XLT. He's done a lot of work in the engine too. Another classic color scheme. Very clean. He has a turbo and he's done all kinds of stuff this to his engine. Eye catching. It's eye catching, alright. He's got the bodyguard bumper bumpers with the winch tucked in there. Some cool wheels. And the best thing of all, a matching toy car. Very cool. Some other Ford Performance vehicles here. The Mustang Mach E. How that's a Mustang, I don't know. These guys all decked out with the off grid trailer teardrop camper. Very cool. Shower, bed, electricity. This guy also set up for overlanding with the rooftop tent, awning. All the fixings. Let the adventure begin. Green lights, maybe not necessarily my thing. Interesting bumper. Here's a Heritage Bronco. 
these colors are striking. I don't know if they're my favorite, but they're definitely striking. And this guy did the interior to match. And is that stock? I, I doubt it. But he made it look like it's stock, and this is definitely not stock. The big red Rocky. Cool. Bronco Sports representing today. This is one of those heritage models. Well, that's it. It's a pretty good gathering. It's nice to be outdoors looking at all the Broncos. Until next time, have a great weekend, everyone.